The final series machining on the frame is to do this little uh, indented part here up at the top of the upper face. This is a sixteenth of an inch deep and uh, half of whatever the difference between those two numbers is on the sides. I didn't do that during the initial machining because I wanted to keep this face available for edge finding. Uh, so I'm going to go back and do that now. But uh, previously I clamped down on my unmachined bearing surface here to hold the part in the tailstock and I don't want to muck up that uh, now that it's machined and it's all accurate. So rummaging in the scrap bin I found this piece of brass which already has a 3 8 thread in the middle that goes part way through and I put a 5 16th hole down the side and then that will go on our draw bar and then I can drop a piece of uh, 5 16th aluminum down through there so that's not going to hurt the brass bronze whatever it is and then that will give me a draw bar to pull it into the face on the four jaw chuck this here is my four jaw chuck which is a six and a quarter inch 160 millimeter chuck and I only have a five inch slash 132 millimeter spindle nose so this is mounted on an eight inch faceplate and this thing weighs a ton well not a ton but a lot maybe two times what it needs to weigh for a machine of this size so it'd be nice to get a chuck that fits properly on the spindle nose like a five inch um, but the five inches that they make have the smaller i think it's 95 millimeter uh stub on the tailstock not the tailstock on the spindle nose and this one has a hundred millimeter so i haven't been able to find a four jaw chuck that has the same fitting so i need to put a faceplate on it which adds weight but that's not too bad but also adds expense so it'd be nice to be able to find one of those if anyone knows of a 132 millimeter four jaw independent chuck with a a uh, hundred millimeter indent in the back for our location uh, let me know otherwise that will be another project where i have to update my chuck anywho we're going to get this tiny thing mounted in this enormous thing as we did before and get it all lined up centering up using the reference face that we machined in part one i'm going to speed this up because i am really slow at this kind of thing you want to watch A-Bomb 79 for really good centering stuff. But I get there in the end. I'm using this G-code routine to do these passes. Uh, the starting point is one inch out from the bottom corner of uh, the indent that I'm cutting and uh, it goes into the inside x and then in, into the z depth and then it cuts out to the corner cuts out from the corner and then goes back to the starting point and i can then jog over for the next pass I'm going to one inch initially so that i can verify the depth of my tool because I didn't have it in the tool table before. So this is off by about four thou. So I put that in the tool table and then I can continue on to the final dimension. I apologize for this video being a little bit boring. This is the little bit of boring that you're watching now. If you are enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. have the frame clamped to the table and squared and now I'm centering it with the dial indicator. Again I'm not very good at this so this has been clipped quite a bit. And then going around the four holes which are on a one inch corner to corner uh, with the center drill and just you doing this with the MPG. I 
and decided to buy my taps with the set of three, the taper plug and bottoming tap, and also buy with them a couple of the appropriate uh, tapping drills, and then keep them all together. When you buy a set from Drills and Cutters, you get a little plastic box to put them in so they don't get lost. And here I can just uh, go around and do the, do the four holes. Uh, when entering in the MDI commands for this, the G-code commands, I'm just changing the plus, uh, or rather t adding and removing minus signs on the numbers to go around the four corners. A little bit of tap magic, uh, and then the 256 uh, tap. I was watching uh, the new video from Inheritance Machining uh, this morning, and I was quite amused that he broke this very tap uh, working on his much nicer project. His uh, video quality is excellent. I thoroughly recommend that channel. But uh, I've drilled quite a few of these now and I haven't broke the tap yet, so I was feeling a little smug. <laughs> does it and there we go that is the finished top surface of the frame we'll do the base next time and we will start looking at the cylinder barrel thanks for watching <laughs>